What's up, what's up? This is the Mochis. What up, what up? We have such a fun video today. We are going to try Korean ramyun. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so Korean ramyun is basically Korean instant noodles. It's really popular in Korea. These are the five top ramyun that was recommended on YouTube. So we're going to try it out today for you guys and let you know what we think. <laughs> So our first contestant is Shin Ramen. Look at that, look at that. Let's go, let's go. So apparently this is a very spicy ramen. Yep, even the Chinese character says spicy. So <laughs> it looks spicy, it's red, damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, I'm a little bit scared. Um, I'm not really good with spicy, but let's try it out. Let's go, let's go. Cheers. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! That is spicy! Whoa! It is spicy! Oh, that's good. I like this. Oh, it hits you. It's spicy, huh? Yeah. It has like a seafood flavor of taste. It's really good, very savory. I love that the noodles are like nice and chewy. Mm -hmm. It was good. And then the kicks come into you afterwards when you eat it. And then they got like a little vegetables. Noodles are good. Yeah, I dig it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. All right, let's go to the next one. Our next ramyun noodle is by Otogi. Woo woo! Now this is a sesame flavored ramen. What's unique about this is, is that it also comes with the egg block. And then also you put the oil at the end, so that was kind of interesting. Yeah, um, because we put the oil at the end, like this is so aromatic. Like you really smell the sesame. It smells really delicious. It almost has like a nutty flavor too. So I'm excited to try this. Let's go. Wow. wow. <laughs> Cheers. Yep. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Salty right away. Super flavorful. Sesame oil at the end. Mm. That is wow. good. This is good, man. I love this. I never had this. I love this. The texture is so nice and chewy. This is probably one of the best instant noodle textures I've ever had. Um, the spiciness is just a right amount of spiciness, mm -hmm. not too spicy. Um, so if you like like mild, mild to medium, this is pretty good. And it's also very flavorful, savory, and it also has a little bit of a like creamy kick to it. Like to me, in my opinion, that's how what I taste. I agree. With, I agree. Whatever she said, this was. Mind blowing. Like one of the best ramen noodle I ever had for Korean style. Boston, y'all. Let's go to the next one. Our next noodle is Chapagetti. Let's go, let's go. Whoa. So I think this is a black bean noodle. Um from what I remember, if you guys have seen the movie Parasite, I think they eat this noodle too. So. Wait, is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was featured in the movie. Um, so let's try it out. This is a dry noodle, by the way. This is what it looks like. It looks like yakisoba. It does. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. This is delicious. It has a lot of flavor. It does. Wow. wow. I don't even know how to explain this. It's really good. Um, it's mm. a little bit creamy. I don't taste the black bean at all, but it is like a dark color. It kind of it does taste like yakisoba to me, but not as salty. No. It's delicious. It's a hint of beef taste to me too. Mm. Um, yeah, so I do taste that, but it's delicious. If you love like chow mein or you love yakisoba, like. Wow, this is good. Really good. I bet you this is good with the beef. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how they ate it. The paradise I think too. so, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
It makes sense now. So we are second to last of our ramyun for today in this episode. Um, our fourth ramyun is bean bean men. And this is a spicy kind of noodle. When we cooked it, what was unique about it is it kind of smells and reminds us of spicy cold noodles. Yep. And it has like an apple uh, picture there. So it says sour and spicy and sweet taste. It says three tastes there, so it's very interesting. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Eat it. Whoa. Whoa. Eat it? Yep. Cheers, Cheers. y'all. Mmm. 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 So, it is sweet. It is spicy. I don't taste the sourness that much. I taste a hint of sourness. Mm hmm This would be so good with tteokbokki. Like, oh, like this right. dish reminds me of like the dish when you go to like those Korean um, restaurants and then you order tteokbokki with ramen. Like it mm -hmm. reminds me of that. that spicy, but it also kind of does give me reminiscent of spicy cold noodles too. Yeah, but it is a little bit uh, warmer, mm -hmm. so it's not like a cold spicy noodle, but it does have a hint of that. Mm -hmm. I agree. Alright, so me and Liz, just look at the recipe and we just... Notice that we just eating the warm part. They also a cold part too, and we have to try it. We have to try it. So let's go. Let's go. All right, guys, we are back. So we made the cold noodle version of the bean bean men. You gotta try it out. Yep. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. I knew it. The cold was better. This is so much better. The flavor is there. And the coldness makes the noodle a little bit more good texture than one that's warm. This is spicy cold noodle. I agree. So this one, um, it's easier to stir. The noodles don't get stuck together when it's cold. And then for some reason, I almost feel like the flavor is even enhanced even more. Like, mm -hmm. it's a lot more flavorful, a little bit more salty. You get a little bit more of that salty, sweet, spiciness. Um, overall, I prefer this cold. Yes, cold is so much better. <laughs> Damn. All right, let's go to the next one. Yes, yes. Did. So our last and final noodle is this carbonara spicy chicken noodle. So we, well actually I love this brand and I've never tried this carbonara one, but let's see how it is. Whoa, this is wow, this creamy. is like hella freaking red. Oh my God, is this spicy? I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hella scared. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. Oh my Whoa. god. That is freaking spicy. Whoa, this is good. It's spicy as hell, but so creamy with cheese flavor. Oh, this is good, but this is really spicy. It's like spicy that it hurts your mouth. Yeah. Like cheese. My mouth hurts my mouth. <laughs> but it's so good. I think the best way to explain this, yes, it's like the spice, the original, if you guys have ever tried the original spicy version of this, it's like that, except it has like, almost like a ranch flavor, in my opinion, and it's like a cheesy ranch flavor added to it. It's like delicious, but it is very, very spicy, Ooh. but very good. If you like spicy, this brand is for you. Yeah, I also love their noodles. Like, I like how thick and flat it is, so... I'm a fan. Okay, so we're going to conclude this video. Now you have seen us try five different types of ramyuns, mm -hmm. but which one is our favorite? Um, so we're just going to go ahead and blindly pick 
which one I think is my favorite. Cause is gonna pick which one is his favorite. Okay. Our number one out of these five. One, two, three, go. <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? So funny. <laughs> this was so freaking good. This was the most unique ramen I've ever had. Like I love that it has like the egg block. When I saw this, I was just a little bit skeptical, but it, the flavor is just so delicious and it's the most unique ramen I've ever had. So. I, I like it how they add the sesame oil at the end. That's probably why I like this a lot. And I don't know, man. I'm surprised that you like this. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all, um, if you guys like this video, please subscribe and please comment any noodles that you guys like. Korean noodles, Japanese noodles, Indonesian noodles, or other cup ramen. Please let us know so that way you could uh, try it out. Yep, that concludes the video. Um, if you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps our channel. Um, and we hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye. Peace, bye, emojis. <laughs>